Hi, my name is Andy Walker, a producer for Loop, and I want to talk about reverbs and delays that I use in Logic on my productions today so that you can best use them in your productions. All right, so let's get started going through my first favorite reverb in Logic. With the newest update, they added this great new reverb called Chromaverb, which is really cool because you have all these different options. Let's make it full wet so you can really hear what it does. Different ones, we have room, chamber, concert hall, theater. So that's really nice. I'm a big fan of Bloomy because you can do some cool stuff. Make a long decay. What's nice is you can really affect the attack here. Just the size of the room. Even the density of just really how how thick it sounds or then what's cool is you can do the EQ adjustments of the reverb here. So let's say you're on a really mid-rangey reverb, or even here, we can do really dark reverb. What's really cool is they added this feature, which I've never seen before, where you can make the decay, like the actual beat. So you can make it like one bar, or make it something crazy like 16 bars. But it really allows you to uh, dial in the reverb settings you want. So this one's really great if you really want to uh, just get kind of in deep with the reverb options. But if you want something quick and dirty, I really like the silver verb. It's very easy to get really good results very quickly. And so I'll make it full wet so you can hear. What I like is you can add modulation to the reverb Make some really cool sounds. So you can get some really nice. Yeah, it's just a really nice reverb and you have different options for how just like the size of the room, reflectivity of it. Then you have some simple EQ controls here as well as the pre-delay. Next up, we have the Space Designer, which is a convolution reverb. Now, one thing to note about this is this does use more resources. Um, so if you are wanting to use something that's really a resource light, the Silver Verb is the one you want to use. Really, really sounds nice and more realistic. Some nice plate reverbs. Just really natural sounding because it's their um, impulse responses, so they're actually based on real rooms, on um, real reverbs. You can adjust the size. It's all based on percentage of what the original room is. And if you have other um, impulse responses that you get, there's sites that have them that you can download. There's uh, You can load the impulse responses here as well. And so again, there's tons of options from like a big cave to like a sustained plate. So like, I find this one works well for really just really natural reverb sounds. So those for the reverbs, and then the other um, really nice uh, effect I like is the stereo delay here. It's got a lot of cool options. You have your, obviously, your EQ of the delay. So you can have it really subtle. Then you control the crossfeed of where it's actually going back and forth from left to right. Which is cool if you do some nice Give you some nice ping pong effects. 
then they have all these routing here where you can do like ping pong left or pan left or right. And so there's lots of really cool options that make it really easy to get some very nice, like out of the box, nice sounds. Or if you want something just basic, you can just go straight and just dial in your note sound. And there you have it, that's the stereo delay. So those are the main reverbs and delays you'll want to use in your productions in Logic. I can't wait to hear how you use them creatively on your productions.